Welcome to the video. Let's talk about black granite sinks. I have a black granite sink. I really like it. It's a big, big, big sink. Big sink. But, as you all know, let me turn my flashlight phone on. Phone flashlight, yeah, okay. As you all know, it gets that white haze. White haze all over the sink. I know when I first bought my sink, I loved it. I loved it. But then it started to get that white haze, and I'm like, what the heck do I do with it? Let me show you how to clean it. Coconut oil. You could use olive oil. I use coconut oil. Let me show you what happens when you use coconut oil on a granite sink. You guys can all see the the white haze, the white haze. So all I do is take a couple napkins, coconut oil, I have coconut oil here, and I just take a hunk out or two hunks out, whatever you need, and just start rubbing this coconut oil around because granite is porous. And you need to treat porous surfaces with oil. So I learned, I, after Googling, what the heck do I do with my sink? Because I loved this sink, but I was getting, I was so disappointed in the fact that it was so, you know, all that white was coming. The white haze on the sink. So... This is what I do. I just rub it all over. Up on the sides. Just get it everywhere. <laughs> Coconut oil is good for your skin too, so you know. You're killing two birds with one stone here. Just up on the edges. I go up on the edges with it. You can melt your coconut oil too if you want to. If you don't want to use it like I did. I've used it melted, like in the summer when it was hot. I've done that. And normally I let this sit on here for a little while. You know, I rub it in really good. And I'll let it sit on here for 15, 20 minutes maybe. Or if I forget about it, it sits on here longer. It doesn't hurt it. But I'll tell you, I looked everywhere. I mean, I Googled everywhere, and I looked at Lowe's and Home Depot and all the stores looking for a product that would clean this. Right now, I'm doing the top edge of the sink. I also, I love this big sink. I absolutely love this big sink. I've always had a split sink and I thought you know this time I want to try a big one and I really like this sink I can wash like pizza pans in here and big pans and I do like it so I'll leave this sit on here for a little bit and we'll be back all right so it's been sitting on here for no, 20 minutes or so. So now, normally I use paper towels, but of course I'm not a paper towel. So I've got some napkins here. And I just rub all the coconut oil off. You know, if you can't get it all off, sometimes I turn the hot water on. And, you know, I'll rinse some of it down the sink, but you'll see, I might do that this time, I've got quite a bit of coconut oil on here, all right, let's turn some water on here, get it hot, or you could just leave it sit if you want, just leave it on here, it's not going to hurt anything, You can see 
see how it beads up, how the water's on the side starting to bead up. It's like a coat of wax on your sink. This is all I do. And then once you think it's good enough for you, just dry it out. If you want to. You don't even have to dry it out. You could leave it like this. But let's dry it out just for the sake of things here. Not going to get very far with this. Uh, let me get my kitchen towel. I don't know if you could see. Let me turn my light back on. But as I'm drying it, I'm kind of buffing it at the same time. And the white haze is gone. I have to do this well, maybe once or twice a month. But remember, it's just my husband and I here. If you have a bigger family, you might have to do it more, the more use of the sink. But there, that's all I do. So that's all I do. So there you go. The white haze is gone, and your sink is black again. It really works. It really works. So just plain coconut oil does the trick. Olive oil, coconut oil, 